Okay, here we are, video number three, happy crafting, I get comfortable. So this came, and it is a punch board, can you see it, punch board, for these. So... As I have stated in my previous videos, I like to try things brand new out of the package so people who aren't craft savvy can experience the pain of opening it, trying to open it. Some things are like packaged beyond. You want to take a hammer and try and break it apart. So. Now this is a pinwheel punch board by Re R Memory Keepers. And that didn't open it, did it? No, no, no. C. There we go. I don't know. I don't want to cut myself trying to open it. They really packaged this one. Okay. I don't know, for some reason this is not going through. So we're going to have to put a little effort in and cut it open. I think I need to take a nap after that. Holy jumping. Alright. And then I'm going to have to use scissors again, right? Okay. Oh, man. This is the part of getting excited of getting new stuff and then having to to, to wait to get it open because oh, oh am I cutting through instructions? I think I just cut through instructions. Ah, there we go. Whew, that's a workout. I think I just lost four pounds. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. If someone tries to take this in the store, they're going to have to take the whole package because it's taking a while to get it open. So. Oh, this is not... Oh my goodness. Alright. See, so now you know what not to do. Because you can see my errors. This is what I like to do. To show people. So they don't have this pain and torture of trying to get... This thing. Do -do, do -do -do. Right, maybe if I pull it out this way... It's this one part right here, this huge mountain part. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I think this whole video is just going to be, how do I open packages? Alright, so what is this? This is just diversion, garbage. We don't need it. I think we might get it on this one. Came out. There we go. All right, we finally can get to this. And uh, easy to use, perfect for parties, decor. All right, so this is a swivel blade. Swi swivel, swivel blade. Oh, well, this is oh oh. I thought swivel. Swiv swivel goes left and right. I guess so. Adhere pinwheel with a brad or pinwheel attachments. Which I did buy. And at the moment I have no idea where I put them. So I got those a few days ago. And I put them somewhere. But I don't know where I put them. Oh well. 
All right, so let's see. Is there instructions? Oh, there are instructions. I hope they're easy. Oh no, it's got to be measurements. We got to measure. All right. I just want to do this really quick. I don't want to measure. I just want to try this out. Doesn't say though. Pinwheels. Oh, paper three inch by three inch. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is. There we go. Paper size is up in the corner. So I have no idea what size it's. Five by five, six by six, three by three. Okay, let's just do three by three. Let's make it easier. And oh no, oh no. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say I don't know where my cutting board, is. my trimmer is. So I need some paper. Let's do. Uh, well, right now, all I got. Let's try this. So, oh, this is too small. Three by three. That's a big pinwheel. So one, two, three. Oh wait, one. Oh, I wish I had my other one. I lost it. Somewhere in my tool section. Alright, let's go six. I don't think I can go for six, do I? Just barely. Okay, let's just see if this will work. It might not work because the measurements aren't like dead on. So, we'll see what it does. Step one, find the instructions. Alright, so we got a 6x6. Six six. Step two, trim paper according to chart. Step three, open cutting arm and punch all four corners. Open. Open arm and punch. Punch. Oh, 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 okay, there we go. Punch, punch. Oh, is this the punch? Oh, that would be the punch. As you can tell, I'm not very experienced with these. Oh, there we go. Pretty. Punch all four corners. Oh, I keep wanting to punch this, but it's up here. Alright. Just another warning, or thing. Try not to do it on your lap. Try it on a table, because when you're punching down, it kind of hurts the legs. So that's a zero. Sorry if I'm slow doing this, because I can see some professionals going, Hurry up! Hurry up! But you know what? This is not for professionals. This is for beginners like me. Um, so you can, they can learn from mistakes. Because professionals try not to make mistakes, because they want to get the project done and look pretty. Alright, step four. Align corner to guide coordinating with paper. A line corner, what? A line corner. Oh, see? So I made a six inch. So I. How do they have that? Oh, so I line. Oh, look, it's easy too. Right there, it shows you right there. The little hole goes there and that. Okay. Thank you, we are memory keepers for us non artistic type. So that means I would put this down. Oh, 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 maybe you should get tape or magnet or something. Oh, what this, oh, that's what this is. It snapped it in place. Nice! Close cutting arm and cut slit from corner towards center. Huh? Close cutting arm and cut 
slit from corner. Okay, now either I'm drinking or I have no clue what they're talking about. Rotate and repeat for all four corners. Where's the cutting? How do you cut it? Is there a cutter? Am I missing a piece? Or is... Oh! Look! Guess what? I got the cutter. So how are they doing it here? The hand's in the way so I can't see. See, that's the problem. They're giving you instructions how to do it, but their hand... The person's hand's in the way of how to hold this thing. But it looks like this goes into here. There. Oh, okay. So how far do we cut it, though? Slide. Cutter towards center. Rotate and repeat all sides towards center. What's the center? Is, oh, is that... <gasps> that's where it's holding it. That's the center. Right there. Okay, so... Okay. Now uh, what? Re rotate and repeat four corners. Okay, so. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! I just made the center. Okay, so repeat. Oh, you gotta make sure it's on the six inch. I almost put it on the five. They need to have some kind of magnet or something. So it doesn't rotate on you when you're doing this. Or maybe I should tape it down next time. Right. Okay, so this is gonna go there. There we go. Alright. And it needs some kind of handle to open it. Unless I'm just because I'm new and I don't know how to use this. It's probably easier ways once I start getting to use it. So just put that there. I'll probably be making these like 50 a second once I get used to this tool. Okay. Now, yeah, I guess I'll use this to pop up. Do, 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 do. Alright, that's the flaw. That's a... I need a magnet or something. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. No, because then I have to put a magnet on top. Alright. There we go. Yay! So I guess once you're done, you put it back in there. Now, uh, what to say? Due to user error, alignment may not be exact. This will not affect functionality. Well, obviously user error. That would be me, obviously. Fold each corner to the center. Overlap hole with center hole. Now what do I want? Yeah, I guess I want it this way. Because I use scrap. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is pretty big. Six by six. So remember, this is 6x6, six six, so it's kind of big. There we go. Back. So there you go. That is cool. Alright. Adhere pinwheel with a brad glue? A brad glue? What the heck's a brad glue? Or other desired. Alright. Pinwheels made from column A and B will nest together. Okay, now they totally... Oh, nesting. Oh, putting... Oh! Nesting, when they say it, nesting pinwheels, they're putting two together. So, apparently, pinwheels made from column A... Col oh, there's two columns? 
Oh. So if I make a six inch over here and I want a nesting one to go around with it, I would make a six or no, an eight. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't have time to do that right now because I want to show the other products I got from We Are Memory Keepers. But there you go. Very fast. Well, not fast, obviously, with me, but once you get used to it, you'll be able to. And that is it. Thank you.